uh, throw some stuff at you guys. Uh, Hassan, Marvin, and um, Tyrese are all playing tonight. They're on a minutes restriction, no. Uh, so the three of them won't play more than 15 minutes. Marvin is going to start for us at the four tonight, and um, we're excited to, to get him and, and Whiteside back and, and kind of get them in the flow of, of, of playing with our guys since we haven't had them at much, much of camp at all so far. So excited for this opportunity tonight. Okay, uh, we'll start with questions. Marshall Harris. Hey, Luke, uh, you, you just said, I think I heard you right. Tyrese won't, ha will have a minute's restriction on him. Did, did yeah. he get or? No, he's fine. He's just, you know, we, we played him a lot in that last Portland game and looking at some of the, 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 the numbers on him being a preseason game, it's just been recommended um, since he, you know, he and, you know, being a, a younger player uh, ha hasn't played in, in a long time that, uh, the recommendation for him tonight was just to, to, to be around 15 minutes. So uh, we'll stick to that recommendation for tonight. What you said about uh, Marvin starting tonight, uh, is Rashawn Holmes going to start at center for you? Or? Yeah, Rashawn will, be at, Rashawn will be at the five spot. Marvin will be at the four tonight. Luke, I guess a two-part question is, does that disrupt much of the way you approach this game and um, – whether you, it does or it doesn't, you're at that halfway point of preseason. Um, what are you trying to find out about your team tonight? Well, it, it didn't disrupt. You know, our, our points of emphasis will be the same as far as getting that ball out quick, getting to our spacing. I, I do expect it to be a little sloppier tonight with two new guys who haven't really been, uh, you know, Monday was the first day that they'd been able to do any contact and run through any of the stuff. So I would expect a couple um, – you know, sloppy moments uh, just because it's groups that haven't played with each other, but we're still looking to accomplish uh, the same thing. Michelle Dapper. Hi, Coach. Uh, welcome back to the Golden One Center. Have you taken a walk around the arena? And uh, can you believe it's the first game since March when uh, this all shut down? And just your, your thoughts on uh, being back at home? Yeah, I'm thrilled to be back in here. It's it, I, it was it's crazy. It was nine months ago almost, right, that, that we walked out of here right before we were about to – uh, give give Alvin Gentry's Pelicans a beat down. Um, and, and here we are nine months later, and we are thrilled to be playing basketball again. But we're also very aware of everything that's going on in the world right now. And uh, we just look at it as, you know, let's 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 have fun doing this and, and recognize how blessed we are to be able to to get back to work and, and play and play ball. Uh, Katie Hunter. Hey, Coach. Um, just curious with with both Hassan and Marvin kind of back in the mix, how much have you actually been able to see them on the floor and how much time have they had overall to practice? It would not much at all um, because the, the, with the, the some of the, the protocols that are in place, um, uh, you know, and coming back from a, a calf thing, they just haven't had a lot of time on the court. And, and they weren't cleared to do any contact until Monday, but we weren't going to have our, our starters come in after that road trip and, and do contact. So we played fours. We got up and down. Um, but that, that's, really, that's really all we've had, had with them on the court. So they, they've been there for practice and been able to watch, um, but that obviously isn't the same thing. So, again, it's a great opportunity to, to start working with, with that part of the rotation tonight. George. Hey, Coach. Is the plan still to have the starters spending extra minutes together and trying to get them as close to that 40-minute threshold as possible tonight, or are we expecting a, a deep bench tonight? Um, no, you'll see a you'll see a deeper bench into the fourth quarter, but for the first three the first three quarters, yeah, you'll see uh, mainly uh, those guys that we we we're playing. Um, as far as, you know, now that Marvin and, and, and Hassan are in the, in the lineup, um, you know, you'll see those guys mixed in with, with Tyrese and, and the other starters and uh, Belly um, and Glenn mainly. 
uh, we'll get some, we'll get Kyle guy out there a little bit. I, I really, uh, I was uh, impressed with how he played in Portland, uh, get him some more minutes. And then in the, in the second half and in the fourth quarter, the bench will open up a little more. Yeah, Luke, you brought up Kyle. Uh, when you, you look at the way he played the other night, just how do you use a two way this year? Do you have any more understanding about how, how much he'll be available to you? How big your roster will be? And, you know, where does he fit in? Yeah, so he, you know, with two ways this year, um, they can spend the whole season with uh, with us as a team. I think there's a limit on the amount of games they can play, uh, but there's not a set m amount of days without the uh, – that they can be with us with, without us having a G League uh, to go to. Um, so, look, we love we love the player that he is. Um, you know, this is what the G League is great for. We we had him down there most of last year, and uh, and you know, with opportunities, we feel confident that with his basketball skills, he can help us. And you know, it's one of those things. He's in a role where when something opens up, he has to be ready. And I kind of threw him out there in that Portland game when when Corey went went down. And I thought he did a really nice job of being prepared and, and helping us win that game. So uh, that's kind of where his role is for right now. But Corey's out again tonight, as well as uh, Jabari and Daquan. So uh, he'll have another opportunity. Jason Anderson. Hey, Luke, can you hear me okay? Yeah. 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 They just reminded me that I'm staring at their microphone instead of the camera. That's the speaker. So, sorry, the speaker, which I thought was a microphone. Uh, uh, but I'm good. Thank good, you. Good, man. Good. Yeah. Um, what, uh, what, what do you hope to see from Marvin? What would be, you know, what would be encouraging tonight just to, to see from him? And um, does the decision to start him next to Rashawn indicate what you would like to do or plan to probably do during the regular season at the beginning? Yeah, well, we'll see how it goes. Um, you know, this is something we wanted to look at early in camp and didn't have that opportunity. Um, but as far as tonight, he, got, he hasn't played basketball in a long time, um, you know, NBA basketball. So I know he's excited and, uh, and I'm, you know, I, I just I want to see him up and down that court. I want to see him flying around. I told him I don't care about mistakes. Uh, don't get caught up trying to memorize everything we're running. Um, play free, uh, you know, have fun and, uh, and really just five minutes of, of, of being active out there on the court. I'm put, playing them in three, five minute stretches. So, um, you know, just being as active and, and fast as he can be in those segments. Katie, how you doing? Yeah, Luke, just one last thing. Um, I know that that pace of play and increasing it is an emphasis this year. Uh, how do you feel that they've done so far? Have they met your expectations? Have they exceeded them? I know there hasn't been a lot of time. Yeah, they, they've um, they, they've done a very good job. And, and, you know, for me, it's it's important. Like we, we talk about as a group and what we really track each game Um is finding the balance of playing fast, but we don't want to just come down and jack up shots. You know, if the defense does a nice job of getting back, we want to, you know, we want to get into our offense and move the ball side to side, make the defense uh, make multiple decisions um, beforehand. So they've done a nice job in, in a short time of kind of starting to feel that balance out. Uh, what we're really tracking is how, how fast we get the ball past half court. And from there, we're in attack mode, but with the understanding of if there's not a, an open shot, um, let's let's pull the ball out, get into some motion offense, and see if we can't make the defense make some mistakes. And I'm impressed with that so far. Hey, 